Wembley Sunday. Ready? Yeah, I think the full squad is. Um, another good training session this morning. Gaffa feeding information into it, what we need to do on Sunday, and it was all good, yeah. Yeah, I've watched the uh, training session here. It's Friday as we speak. It, it looked quite intense. Yeah, well, like I say, we're all, we're all just planning for, for Sunday, so it's like two days before the game, isn't it? So it's like really a Thursday session for a Saturday game. It always, always is on a Thursday, so we're not going to change anything, keep the routine the same, and like I say, just all, all go for Sunday, yeah. Yeah, I know you said to me last Sunday, ideally, you would have liked to have won the league when I asked you what it would be like to lead Forest Green out at Wembley, but I guess if you can lead them out and take them into the Football League, that's really sweet for you. Yeah, well, yeah, absolutely buzzing for it. Um, like I say, we, we did want to win the league. We feel like that, but the best way, like everyone keeps telling me, is to win the playoffs and get to know that feeling like it and uh, to lead the team out and to lead the club out. It's just a big honour to do on Sunday, yeah. yeah. First experience of Wembley for you as a, a um, footballer? Second. I played there when I was like 17 at Carlisle and won, so hopefully go there and again on Sunday and win again, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure there's going to be quite a lot of Newcastle fans supporting you with the uh, with the family. Have you have you got many family coming yeah, to the game? Yeah, got eight people coming to the game. A bit unfortunate, my dad and all the lads go to Benidorm, so all them are in Benidorm, but I'm sure they'll be... Uh, watching on Sunday, well, I know that all they're going to be watching on Sunday, and there'll be a lot of people in Newcastle watching on Sunday. So, like I say it's a massive day for the full club to try and get them the football league where they belong, and then we can kick on again there to go where we want to go. You took four points off Tranmere in the league. Does does that go out the window, Liam? Yeah, for 100%, Wembley. Yeah, it means nothing now. I think nothing. Any other game in the league means nothing now. Uh, it's all gone. Uh, Dagenham's gone on Sunday. I think it's just like you say, it's all on Sunday. They'll be thinking the same. It's just a one-off game, and who that turns up on a day will win. Yeah, and Wembley playing on the pitch like Wembley should suit Forest Green's brand of football. It should do. Um, if we want to do it right and play the way we want the Gaffer and Scott Yotam want to play, um, but we know Tramway are a very good team. Um, but we've got every man available to the Gaffer. Got a, probably got a headache because the physios have got every player fit. Ethan had a bad injury, Kane had a bad ankle injury and uh, every man's available in the squad so that's credit to Wezzo and Joe for getting getting everyone fit and like I say Gaffer's probably got a headache to pick the team and to who to pick, he's only, he can only pick five on the bench so it's going to be hard for him but obviously that's what he gets paid for and he needs to pick the right 16, yeah. yeah if you look at the betting odds, Tranmere are favourites, they've also got 20,000 fans but going in as underdogs will, will suit you. Yeah, I don't really take anything like that in, uh, in consideration, Ash. Um, doesn't matter how many fans it can take 100,000 if they want um, but they're not going to be playing it's going to be 11 of our bodies be 11 of them so like you say it doesn't really matter how many fans come it was nice on Sunday when we had the fans obviously it's local for them it's a bit expensive to get there we understand that it's on telly it's on BT so I'm sure if they're not there they'll all be watching at home so we'll want to do them proud on Sunday yeah okay all the best cheers Ash, thank you mate